Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're defying the winter chill by whipping up a tropical pina colada with fresh coconut and pineapple. We're starting by making fresh coconut milk and we'll also be creating a caramelized delight with roasted pineapple. While the snow is still falling outside, let's bring a taste of summer into our homes and warm our spirits. Ready for a sip of sunshine? Let's get started. Let's kick things off with a coconut. You might think that cracking one open is a tough gig, but it's actually simpler than you'd expect. Every coconut has three eyes. Only one of those, the largest eye, is soft and easy to pierce. Grab a sturdy stick and gently poke through that largest eye to let the coconut water flow out. It's incredibly refreshing. Next up, take the blunt side of your kitchen knife and tap it around the coconut's equator, rotating as you go. Keep at it until you see a crack form. And that's your victory line. From there, you can easily pry it open with your fingers. And there we have it. Fresh coconut, ready for our pina colada adventure. Moving on to the next step, we're gonna scoop out that coconut meat. Now, this can be a bit more challenging because that coconut meat clings to the shell like it's holding on for dear life. But don't worry, I've got a secret weapon for this, an oyster knife. It's the perfect tool for the job. Just slide the oyster knife into the gap between the meat and the shell and gently work it around. It's a bit of a delicate operation requiring some patience and care, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see the meat start to give way and come off in larger pieces. It's quite satisfying when it finally pops out. Now that we've got our coconut meat freed from its shell, it's time to give it a good rinse. Then we'll break it down into smaller, blender-friendly pieces. Toss these into the blender, and let's not forget to pour in that coconut water we saved earlier. Flip that blender on and let it do its thing, whirling those pieces into a fine, creamy pulp. It's a bit like watching a tropical dance inside that blender, isn't it? Once it's all blended up, grab some cheesecloth, and let's strain that mixture to get our coconut milk. And there you have it. It's gorgeously fresh, rich, and ready to bring our pina colada to life. You can almost taste the sunshine in each sip, can't you? All right, let's turn our attention to the pineapple, the other star of our pina colada. Choose a ripe, fragrant pineapple. The sweeter the aroma, the richer the flavor. Start by lopping off the top, then strip away the skin. You'll want to take a moment here to carefully pick out those little eyes dotted across the pineapple's surface. They can be a tad prickly. Once it's looking clean and ready, chop that tropical beauty into smaller chunks. Let's not forget about those scrumptious roasted pineapples we're about to create. Now let's get saucy. Scoop some unsalted butter into a bowl and pop it in the microwave to melt. Keep an eye on it. We don't want a buttery explosion. Once it's nicely melted, stir in a generous amount of brown sugar and a dash of cinnamon. The amount of sugar and cinnamon you add is totally up to you. Whether you like it sweeter or with just a hint of spice, you're the master of your kitchen, now humming on broil mode. Let's give those pineapple pieces a good brush with our buttery concoction. We're aiming for that even glossy coat on each chunk. This is where they start to look like little treasures. All right, time for the heat. Slide that baking sheet into the oven and let the broiling magic happen for about 10 minutes. We're looking for that beautiful roasted glow that says, I'm ready to be devoured. All right, back to our delightful pina colada. Yes. We're using a blender this time, not a cold press juicer. I know what you might be thinking about the heat from the blending process, but no worries. We've got a cool trick up our sleeve with some ice. 
fire up that blender and let it whirl those pineapple pieces into a smooth tropical concoction. Once it's all smooth and creamy, we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. This isn't just for a tangy twist, it's also to balance out the sweetness, giving our pina colada that perfect flavor profile. Now for a bit of fun, I'm adding some white rum. But hey, this is totally your call. I want to keep it non-alcoholic, just skip this step. To finish off our pina colada, let's pour in the fresh coconut milk we prepared earlier. Give the blender one last whirl to mix everything well. And here's the thing about the ratio of coconut milk to pineapple. It's all based on your own taste. Prefer it creamier? Add more coconut milk. Love the ting of pineapple? Keep it fruity. It's all about crafting the perfect balance for your palate. Let's not forget those pineapple pieces, getting all cozy and caramelized in the oven. Let's flip each pineapple piece over. We're giving them a full-on golden tan, not just on one side. Once they're all flipped, let's grab that sweet spiced sauce we made earlier. It's time to give the other side of our pineapple chunks a good brush. We want each piece to be evenly coated, soaking up all that buttery, sugary goodness. All set? Great! Pop them back into the oven for another 10 minutes of broiling. All right, the moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Get ready for that sweet, caramelized aroma to greet you. It's like a little preview of the tropical deliciousness we're about to enjoy. Each pineapple chunk perfectly bronzed, sticky, and glistening with that spiced glaze. They're not just a treat for the taste buds, but for the eyes too. Thanks a bunch for joining me in this delightful tropical journey, right from the comfort of our homes. If you've enjoyed making these recipes with me, please hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and flavorful adventures.